I've been really interested. At, at some point, I was really interested in writing, for example, a book about Pentecostalism because I actually think it was an amazing thing. You know, that's, 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 you, you, the, you know me, I'm interested. I'm always interested in like even challenging yourself in how you think, right? So, sababu muingi a bedroom yangu, I have beef with you. Fine. You know, in a policy way, in law ways, you want to come inside my bedroom. Fine. And I have beef. It's about the wedge of people saying that these other things cannot exist in our society. And then they must act to remove them. The only act you can do to remove them is to perform violence. Only. There's no other way. You must actually go and perform violence. Right? And then you must witch hunt. So when you're saying about the idea of the imagination, of course there was imagination. Guy, you go and sit in one of those churches. Do you hear the stories? <laughs> Me. You know what I mean? Guys project guys always find ways so that Pentecostal churches themselves were subversive. Because when you the days of Moi, you go to Catholic church, they're just like, eh, you, you're like, me, I need a big God right now, Bana. Things can be happening bad in my life, and then and then you go back home. And you in home your heart is in turmoil. So there are so many kind of like subversive and amazing things that were being done. But now, we have just reached a point. The point is just quite, quite simple. We are going to be owned by China if we don't make new things. To make new things, we have to imagine. It's just simple. So now you say, you remove art from school so people can become scientists. Now with what imagination? That's where we are going. India right now, which produces more patents than anywhere in the world, right? You had a cultural revival. You had an intellectual revival. Which took, it was chaotic, awkward. Those days when people used to say, guy, you go and buy an Indian made car, it'll just anguka here and fall apart. Now, it's coming to a kind of like a big fruition of making new things. And part of that was the, that cultural revival. When you started to see Indian writers arrive in the global, global space, like a fever, like 27, then 3 million, then 300, they're just there. Mbaka now England can't produce writers like that. Now, in England, they're just like, hiya, we have to put these guys on the list because now, that's what a revival is. Us, now, at you send a delegation of MPs to Singapore. Then they're told, what implemented? He said, we built roads. So you go, China, can you give us money for roads? Pah! At then that's how it's going to happen. So all I'm just saying is, like, we have to free our imaginations. And it's going to be messy. It's okay to be messy. That process of learning to grow your imagination in all kinds, it has to be messy. You want a cultural revival where you are like, guys just start writing man novels in every language and making my crazy movies. And you know that thing has started, man Hollywood, man Riverwood, that thing is excellent. And politicians, generally, when they have not dug the well in your school, the best way that they can come is to start to say, see, elections are coming. Because elections are coming, they'll be like, I was supposed to dig a well in the school, but I am more concerned that if I dig a well for your school, that first we have to eradicate rampant lesbianism. So that way, people hire, hire, watoto wetu, wanaharibiwa. So now you forget the well in the school. Nigeria is running for an election in one year. Jonathan Goodluck is in dogs. He might lose. The fastest thing to do to rally the troops is first Kwanzaa, all the Pentecostals and all the fanatical Muslims, that is a few 10 million. For uh, six months, they're like, you know, Jonathan, He's a good person. Huh? Even if he has not done any wells, even if there's no steamer working, there's no electricity working in Lagos, huh? he's helping us to eradicate homosexuality and then, then Nigeria will grow. <laughs> Fine. Right now, money is pouring from all parts of the world into Africa, even when it doesn't have a mission. To make a business requires imagination. The real makers of our business actually really don't come from our middle classes. Because we have been trained not to imagine. So now guys who come from some of these real eh, satellite eh, inside there making things are really the people who make new ideas in our society. Yeah? And us guys, we are just sometimes, a lot of times we find ourselves being, we know how well and quickly to react. But we don't have any surprised when it comes to act and imagine. So, how do you want your child schooled? How do you want your child free to imagine? When you make your child fear things outside their window, things they can't see, yeah? You've trapped your child. You've just trapped your child to be unable to imagine because you trapped your child into imagining fears. <laughs>